Hello warriors, welcome to this episode of Stand for AS videos. Today let us have a look at PRP, platelet rich plasma. We are going to discuss everything about PRP today. What is platelet rich plasma? How is it prepared? How does it work? And most important, does it work in ankylosing spondylitis? Let us have a look. PRP stands for platelet rich plasma. PRP has plasma which is the liquid portion of blood and platelets platelets are the cells that are responsible for clotting platelets produce multiple growth factors and these growth factors help regeneration and healing in prp platelets are concentrated as compared to blood almost 2.5 to 9 times the concentration as compared to blood how is prp prepared blood is collected and it is processed in a machine called as a centrifuge. A centrifuge separates blood into, into its constituents. As you can see here, this is a vial containing blood. And once it is centrifuge, it gets separated into its constituents. As you can see here, this is the plasma, the liquid portion of blood. These are the RBCs that sediment to the bottom, the red blood cells or the erythrocytes. And in between these two, there is a layer called as buffy coat which contains white blood cells or leukocytes and platelets. PRP contains this plasma as well as the buffy coat. If, the, if this vial is centrifuged further, one can also reduce the number of leukocytes. So there are two types of PRPs, either leukocyte or WBC poor PRP or leukocyte or WBC rich PRP. How is PRP used? Now, this plasma and the puffy coat together is taken in a syringe and it is injected in the painful area. This PRP as we already saw has a high concentration of platelets, almost 5 to 10 times concentration of platelets and because of the platelets, the growth factors as well. How does PRP work? This is based on the fact that whenever there is an injury to any part of the body, body rushes platelets to this region these platelets release multiple growth factors and these growth factors then promote healing and attract stem cells to further promote healing in this area. So, whenever there is an area where there is pain, soft tissue injury, if we inject PRP, these platelets will release multiple growth factors and this in turn will be responsible for regeneration and healing. This is exactly how PRP is supposed to help take care of inflamed painful areas. Where is PRP used? There are multiple studies of use of PRP in osteoarthritis, hair loss, plantar fasciitis, tendon and meniscus injuries and muscle injuries with variable reports of its efficacy. How about ankylosing spondylitis? Does PRP help ankylosing spondylitis? Can it relieve the pain and inflammation of ankylosing spondylitis? As far as ankylosing spondylitis is concerned, there are very few studies of the use of PRP. Scientists have tried injecting PRP in sacroiliac joint. Currently, there is no firm evidence that PRP helps reduce the inflammation or pain of ankylosing spondylitis and it is not recommended in any of the global guidelines as far as ankylosing spondylitis is concerned. Thank you warriors for joining me for this week's episode of Stand for AS videos. Let us meet again next week with another episode with some more information about ankylosing spondylitis. Till then, keep smiling. Thank you.